you have us about 9 million people die yearly due to hunger 3.1 million of them being children that means 24,000 people are dying daily and 1,000 people per hour first we are doing trial and error we are trying to see what will work so you end up using a lot of funds because you may try first it doesn't work it maybe you end up having glucose instead of having starch you start again by now purchasing the enzymes again yeah and also mentioning that also uh shipping costs they are really high human beings can digest grass because we don't have the enzyme cellulose cellulose in our gastrointestinal tract and since we don't have that enzyme we can't break down cellulose in the grass which is the main thing in the grass after harvesting the grass you wash it to remove any contamination after doing that, we dry it depending on what source you want to use. You might use the sun or even electric to dry it. After drying it is when we grind it into becoming a powder that we call cellulose powder. That cellulose powder is where now we add our enzymes which are, which are used to break down now the cellulose into becoming starch. We have the necessary temperature, necessary pressure, necessary conditions for the reaction to occur. Uh, the ground the grass itself is already at the ideal state in which it can now react. We add distilled water and we add the necessary enzymes and um, it's converted now to amylose, uh, the starch that is almost the same as the one in maize. The texture is the same, uh, the smell is the same. When I started doing this project, I had goals that I wanted to achieve at the end, of which I have been able to achieve, and I'm excited because I know with this product, you're going to save so many lives, and the deaths and the number of people who are going to bed hungry is going to reduce. For instance, the price of maize flour, which used to retail between 40 to 55 shillings per kilogram last year, this year it's going for about 90 to 120 Kenya shillings per kilogram. That is about over 110% increase. And we're asking ourselves as innovators, will food continue being affordable?